you need these details and you get these details from Bullhorn or your Bullhorn support or from your Bullhorn systems integrator and you also need to find the URL and this information here tells you how to find the URL of the, your auth server and your REST server. And then there's videos on how to set up and to do queries and to attach files and it's worth seeing watching all of those. Um, and then this, these are the parts of the API that have been implemented. So um, this, if you look at the action behind here, this is how you log in. Um, and this is ping is used for determining uh, how long your session is. I'll just, let's just sign in. So in the back end, the actions have logged us into um, Bullhorn, and we have a REST token which allows us to query it. And that particular one we've got has a session expiry of 10 minutes. So ping tells us is an API method which tells us how many when when the session will expire. Uh, options is an API method which uh, pulls down uh, lists within the Bullhorn system. I don't fully understand it, but you can go to the REST API doc here and understand what it means. And then there is uh, options types, um, which, so you can pull out lists that are in value label pair lists that are in Bullhorn and metadata so you can understand about different entities in the system and etc meta fields search fields so search fields tells you for an entity like a candidate what uh, fields are in there that you can use to search on so you can filter this is a filter to find say by name <coughs> and Use, these fields now are available that you could use, potentially use, uh, in your search for candidates here. So this is how you can search for a candidate. And once you've got a candidate ID, you can uh, see what files are uploaded for that candidate. And you can also upload a file to a particular candidate, and you do that here. And this is useful, but for a slightly more advanced, it's where you can do arbitrary searches for testing your um, get requests against the Bullhorn system.